And then I also just learned that we were both on American Idol. Yep. I was, I played seventh place. Seven? Yeah, yes. you were seven. Yes. Yeah, we were uh, I placed about 33 positions below that. No. I was 40, made, made top 40, but it was fun. Like, um, Scotty McCree won that year, so I'm still friends with him, oh. Lauren Elena. Uh, yeah. Wow. And Scotty, after I met him, um, he got a record deal then. I got a record deal like seven years later. But he was the first artist to take me on tour. Mm. Yeah, so it was. Uh, Look at you fun. now, though. It was fun. Like, yeah. that's amazing. What were you doing before Idol? Uh, before Idol, so I moved to Nashville in 2007. Uh, had $21 in my bank account. Uh, I drove this Chevy Malibu down. Pastor the door didn't open, by the way. Um, I found this uh, trailer on Craigslist. Get to the trailer, found out it doesn't have electric. I was like, ooh, oh well. So I blew up my little air mattress at the gas station down the street. Uh, I drove, <laughs> this is where it gets funny. So I, <laughs> I couldn't strap it down. Uh -huh. um, so I got some tape and taped half of it down to the roof. And I drove two miles down the street holding the other half of the air mattress <laughs> like this. Oh uh, yeah. You Did gotta that. get down how you live. Yeah, and uh, uh, I, lived, I lived in there for like six months. Then she sold it. I lived in my car for like a couple months. Wow. Um, and then just working jobs, you know, overnight stock at Walmart, server. Uh, I was uh, collecting trash waste management, a janitor at the middle school. Middle school boys are nasty, by the way. Uh, I don't even know why they have toilets. They just pee on the floor. I'm That's like, a good point. you go all the way to the bathroom to pee on the floor, just pee in the hallway. <laughs> why go all the way to the bathroom? The toilet's here. You just say, ah, I'm gonna go right here. Yeah. Why? So I did that for a while. Um, you name it. I, I, yeah. I did it because I feel like the importance of the whole thing, support the dream until the dream supports you. And I love then, that. Support the dream until the dream supports you. Have you have to. Did y'all hear that? I forgot who said that. Um, someone said it, and I fell in love with it, and then I had a son at the time, and I'm like, as a parent, chase your dreams. Right. Never stop. But your child should have to sacrifice what they need and what they want, you know what I mean, in order for you to be successful. So I just was like, that you're still going to go to Disney World, so I would pick up a couple extra shifts. Um, Make sure he never missed a meal. Um, so yeah, it was still I had to do.